Hello, in this video, we will learn how to install DNA controller using ISO. ISO images are not available for all the versions. You may do this when you got fresh appliance and install latest version before you are adding the DNAC into your network to save some time for doing the cloud upgrades. Go to the SimC console and open the KVM. I could see this DNAC appliance already installed, pre-installed with uh, uh, DNAC and it is running in maybe 113 at the time of order, depends upon the time of the order. So I need to change the boot order. So I'm going back to the SimC console, go to compute, configure the boot order now it is currently in HDD hard disk so I am going to go to advanced settings and change it to USB this is the place where I have already burned the ISO image and plugged into appliance so I just give a name USB underscore ISO Nothing specific here. Save changes. Okay. So I see the USB ISO in the boot order. At this point, I will go back to the KVM console. and I will reboot the machine. I selected boot device as my USB. Now I will power cycle the appliance. Power cycle. Okay. System is going to reboot. This may take quite a some time so I passed the recording in between and come back. I got the welcome page want to start the new cluster or join the cluster this is the new cluster so I select start the cluster so this interface is the cluster interface so the IP addresses have been already decided I'll just key in those IP addresses you may need this when you are running a three node cluster currently this is one node but still I am preparing the DNAC for the cluster addition later in the point if I may want to add another cluster another DNAC appliances as well this interface is the interface which has the connectivity to the external world basically I will use this interface to access the uh, Amazon cloud to get any DNAC upgrades so here is where I need a default gateway wherein I may go to the unknown network like internet also right so I am giving a default gateway here but it's throwing error because in the cluster interface also I have given the default interface let's remove it default gateway so i will remove the default gateway here if needed because this is the interface will be used for rest of all other operations for dnac to the fabric communication i will add the static routes there now default gateway for the internet access rest of the world access wrong ip to 105 means the 105 is given 15 let's change it I 
DNS server. Next. I'm not going to use this interface. This is the optional interface. So I will just skip this. This interface is the enterprise interface. Basically, this is the interface like which you have the communication towards your uh, enterprise network. So I have a slash 24 subnet. I'll just configure this. In this interface, I will also use the communication to the ICE when we integrate uh, ICE with the DNAC. So I'm giving this uh, static route how to reach the ICE and rest of the enterprise networks uh, within my topology. So I'm, I, all my 170, all my uh, infrastructures or uh, ICE, AD, everything in 172 network and I'm going to put users and the LAN automation pools in 192 network. So I'm giving everything here and say that if you want to reach this subnet, go to the gateway of 172.16.22.1. That's the first stop from there where I have the visibility of all these subnets. So now I proceed. So now this will take quite a some time. Yeah, I paused and come back. Now we have to configure HTTP proxy. This is needed for uh, getting the updates from Amazon Cloud if you are behind the proxy. And cluster virtual IP address when you have three node cluster. And this is the password for uh, CLI access. So you can keep same password for CLI as well as uh, GUI access. So I'm giving the same password for Linux, which is CLI access and the administrator password, which is GUI password. I need to give admin password. Yeah. NTP server. So this is very important step. NTP has to be successful. And uh, when your NTP is not matching between ICE and uh, DNAC, it will not, you cannot integrate successfully. So give your NTP server where you can get the right time. Ensure that you are using the same NTP server for your ICE appliance also. So I paused and restarted the recording. Now the installation is complete. It will take a lot of time. And once the installation is complete, it will reboot. During this time, you need to remove the uh, USB. Otherwise, again, the next boot also, it will be started from the USB. So I'm just going to remove the USB. Go to KVM. Sorry, uh, SIMC. Just remove USB ISO from here, from the boot order. There's some time out. Let me re-log in. configure advanced HTTP first which is not there now getting back to KVM console and I will see if I have boot device still showing as an USB. Yeah, it started with hard disk and post installation 
process has been initiated. This will take quite a long time, or maybe at least 30 minutes. So you have, have to be patient in this stage. Yeah, coming up. I will pause the recording at this state and come back to you. Going well. Yes, it is done. Let me try to log in. So the username for CLI access is Maglev. So login is successful. This is the password what I used in the Unix password section during our installation user. I will try to log in with the let's try to log in with GUI. To access GUI, give the IP address of enterprise network that whatever you have given on 172. Use the username admin and password your password that you configured in the wizard you can use the enterprise IP or if your uh, public IP which you used in the 10 network if that is reachable also you can directly access it so I logged in it's asking for a few information so this is not I don't want to change the password so I'm just skipping it and uh, it is asking for your CCYD if you want to configure you can configure it this is needed for any updates you want to receive so I, I don't want to do anything now on this one for you to maintain your smart account so I'm just skipping if you want to integrate with your IPAM or IP managers no I skip then ready to go let's start it so the page open it's the DNAC GUI First time what you see here. I refresh, looking good. Let me see. So these are the tools we have. Discovery, inventory, topology. Let's go through each of these tools later in the time. Now first I will go to design and we'll see that I have all good now. It's trying to open the map. So this map is coming from internet basically. So map is loaded, so I have internet access good. I will see my version is good. app management this is what we have the system package now and these are all the applications installed and I see some of the applications are not installed now let's install it later once we verify everything and I also see all the installed applications are in running state so for the download for those packages which I want to install now some of them are uh, updates also available so let's install that also okay, before we install these updates let's install all the packages once and then we can upgrade whichever is available okay so there are four packages which is not installed as such with the fresh install so let them let's install them now so there is an order of sequence you need to follow when you are installing the packages. So this can be found on the release notes of whichever release you want to install. So this is currently in 118. So I will refer that installation guide and I will go through the package which it needs to install first. If you want to know more about any of these packages, you can click on this I just right next to the application name. You can see what it is meant for. So initiated the download once it is all downloaded you can install them one by one so packages are ready to download so I will pause and come back once it is available meanwhile you can also check whether all the packages are running in the running state so let me connect to DNAC through CLI. So 
So the SSH to DNAT. I'll use my public interface of the DNAT, which also has the internet connectivity. And with the username maglev, as I said earlier, you have to use maglev when you are accessing the CLI. And very importantly, the port number should be 22222. So I logged in. I can see all my interface details on the top. Now I'll see with maxatl command what is the application status. Let's make a bigger window. You can see better. Yeah. You see abstract test this all the applications that is installed for the DNA and I see all are in running state and also you, I request you to keep a tab on that restarts just after the status it has to be in the minimal state if you see a lot of restarts then there is a problem in that particular container you may have to contact TAC to rectify or see what is the reason behind in lot of restarts so I also see the package status so we got the GUI access we, got, we saw the package status and the application status on the CLI, it's all good. There are a few packages still under the installing or ready to deploy. Let me install that offline, uh, that would be straightforward. So this completes our DNAC installation using USB ISO. Thank you.